I gotta show you this guys, check this out. We've got the Nike Air Max 270s for $6 and they turn into 100 bucks. And then we've got the New Balance, we've got the Fresh Foam 108 they turn into $50 and they were just $5 in store. But then they also had the Brooks Bedlams. These things were going for about, well, yeah, there you go, $50. And these are only five in store. And then the, finally, we picked up the Clifton Sixes, the Hokers, $4. They turned into about 80. Couldn't believe it. 20 bucks for $200 worth of shoes. Not a bad way to start the day. So this video is going to be, well, maybe a little bit all over the place, really, because that's kind of how I feel at the moment. We've got so much to get done. We're a week away from going to the States. Uh, we've got the Monday morning orders that we've got to fill and, and pack up and send off. Uh, we're going to go to the flea market that I filmed yesterday. Uh, and then we're going to go and I'm going to, I'm going to update you guys on the America trip as well a little bit later in this video. We're off on Sunday. Courtney's taking over. She's got the keys to the business on Sunday. Um, and I know that she's going to smash it. But we've just got so much work to do over the next couple of days that, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll film this sporadic vlog of what is going on. But, yeah, exciting times. Looking forward to it. Let's get into it. So it's kind of nice the way we do our shifts with Courtney every week because she doesn't start until 11 o'clock and it kind of just gives me a really good opportunity to set everything up and make sure the day is going to run smoothly. Um, so I've got a few hours up my sleeve and one thing I want to quickly mention in this vlog is around these storage uh, shelves. A lot of people talk to me about these shelves and they ask, you know, where do you get them from? How much do they cost? What size are they? Why do they fit the, um, the storage tub so well? And the company's called Apple Shelving and they've only just recently started to put their items up onto eBay. So you can jump onto eBay now and you can buy these shelves. And I think it's only about $40 for shipment for those that are in Australia. Um, so I've linked the, the, the shelves in the description below so you can go and check them out. The ones that I've got here that fit these storage tubs perfectly, um, they're 1.8 long, two meters high, 600 width. And I've got two of them. I think it cost me about $400 to get them both. Uh, total cost so it's not too bad considering they're going to be here forever uh, and they just do such a perfect job so if you're looking to try and grow your business and you don't have any set shelves yet i'd go and grab these from apple shelving link in the description how's your trip <laughs> good it was good what was the highlight of the trip um the market river maybe yes. or scar oh not scarborough sorry esperance because the beaches in esperance were amazing yeah, the, um, I've seen the beaches in Esperance, but I would, oh, like, I've seen photos, but I'd love to go. We didn't get to go to Lucky Bay. I don't know if anyone knows Lucky Bay, but it's like an hour out of Esperance, and that's like voted number one beach in Australia. Oh. And like actual kangaroos go on the beach and like run around. But it was like outside of our hire car thing, and we we're going to do it, but we we're like, oh. Amazing. Amazing. Beautiful, yeah. I went yeah. quick. You know what's more amazing, though? You're back. And we've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> we've got a lot of work to do. And the first one that we're going to pick out, I might give you the camera here. Yeah. Um, we've got a Melbourne Demons hat. And it's this one right here. Um, so this one, I, I do need to shout out uh, the Deep North Hat Co. Um, the Deep North Hat Co. sent me a bundle of, I think it was about 30 vintage hats. I put a little Instagram reel up uh, a couple of weeks ago. And I've listed all of these hats up. And this one's actually come through. This is an absolute beauty. Look at how... Look at how torn up and how ruined it looks. But to a true collector out there that loves vintage hats, this thing's still worth some good money. I actually listed up for $75 and we got a best offer come through for $50. So a huge thank you to the Deep North Hat Co for this. Um, I got it for free. He just sent it through because he loves the channel. Um, so I can't thank you enough. That's 50 bucks in our pocket for a very cool vintage hat. All right, guys, um, this is also a top five we're going through. So number three and number four is here from our weekend sales. Um, this one here, the Nike Shocks, has come in at number four. We got a $50 sale price for these. I picked these up at the flea market just a couple of weeks ago. I, I listed them for 50 because of the condition. They're a little bit old. They've definitely had some use, um, but there is still some life left in them. So um, you can get these normally done for about 100 bucks if they're in good nick. Um, but given the condition, $50, I thought that was a pretty fair price. And we got some international postage as well for $30 um, heading off overseas. Uh, so that was a good sale that we saw in a very quick space of time. These ones as well, the Adidas Parleys. Do you remember that we picked these up in a thrift store? Maybe. These were, I, think so. I want to say last week or two weeks ago. Yeah, right. We went out thrifting and I found these. Yeah. Um, these are an awesome Actually, shoe. Yeah, yeah. These Parleys were $15 in our local thrift store and they've got on sale for $55. Um, I had them listed up for $70. 
uh, but we took a $55 best offer. So again, really good in the shoes. As you can see here, we've got another four pairs of shoes that are going out. I think they sold for 50 as well, but then these are about 35, 30, and 30. Um, so some good shoe sales. We've had six shoe sales over the weekend, but they were definitely two of the best. All right, Courtney's got the second best sale of the weekend. Is these Funko Pops. So they were actually individually listed. Um, so someone's gone through and brought all four of the, is it the Marvel Studios, the Chrome um, mm. version? Like Which cool. is really good because then we can ship all four together in one box, so we'll save on postage. Um, yeah, really cool sale. Probably should have listed them up into, uh, as a big lot to begin with. Yeah, it was 55 Did I say that? $55. Yeah, yeah good point. But yeah. if we, we listed these all up individually, and they had to actually go through and buy all of them on four separate occasions. Yeah. We probably should have just listed them up as one set. Definitely, yeah. One listing. Yep. But fortunately, that's how they've sold. Yeah. So, yeah, if you get these pops, guys, they're, they're about $20 each, so $20, 40 60 80 much better to just go with a $55 free postage and then you just like Courtney said, um, just putting it into the one sat, uh, one box in this in this scenario. So number two, not too bad. Uh, so we've got all of these DVDs that we're still trying to list up. Um, so Courtney's gonna be doing that while I'm away over in the States next week. Um, we've got so many DVDs and we've got a lot of DVDs that have gone on to sell, but this was number one. This was the best one from over the weekend, 24, Every single episode, um, we got eight seasons worth there and it sold for 70 bucks. Um, so a very, very good sale price. We love selling sets of DVDs. I don't need to harp on it on this channel anymore because if you've watched it for any length of time, that's all I talk about. Uh, we've got a lot of sets here. We've got a lot of box sets here. Courtney's listing up here. A third, guys, 33% of what we're selling at the moment is the DVD category. So if you're new to eBay, if you're trying to find a category that you're gonna try and sell for the first time, I recommend that you try to get into these. Um, and a really good place to start would be my beginner's guide video um, that I did uh, a couple of, it was about a year ago now. Um, but it teaches everything you need to know. These things sell well. All right, so while Courtney was away, um, I decided to swap over our postage setup for these uh, DVDs that we're selling because we bought so many recently. So we're getting a lot of these cheaper DVDs come through. And we're gonna go with these envelopes, which is something I've spoken about in the past, um, but we've never actually actioned. Courtney, you did it in your store though, hey? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I have them. Courtney's been doing them, and she's been doing them without any issues. You've not had anyone say that they haven't arrived? No. No, so I'm going ahead and doing it as well, which is what, something I should have done a long time ago. So we've got these stamps. Um, it's, Courtney knows this better than I do, but it's basically two stamps for a single disc DVD. It's all on the weight. Yeah, it's up to 250. 250, yeah, it is. 250 grams, uh, and then it goes up to 500 grams. You've got to put three stamps on. Yeah. So at the end of the day, you're paying $2.40 or $3.60, uh, depending on how many discs are in the DVD. Mm. Um, so I've decided that $18 is going to be the minimum um, for an envelope, or the maximum, I should say. So anything that sells up to $18 is going to go into these untracked, yeah. and then I'm going to sell these guys, which are the ones that are going to be tracked, aren't they? Yeah. Are going to go into this. So this here is something that I've always used, but these are now like $5.50 to $6 each. Um, they do have a tracking number and they fit in the envelopes perfectly, but I can we can save like 2 to $3 by going untracked on the stamp model. And if you're selling, you know, 20 or 30 of these a week, yeah. that's like 60 to $80 a week worth of savings by going untracked. Um, so I think it's a very good thing that we're finally getting into. Should have done it sooner. Um, no real extra work to do it. No. But it's going to be a big, big uh, money saver for us. So I thought I'd just update you guys on that new postage model um, for us with all of these DVDs and video games. And uh, I think it's going to help our bottom line a little bit more. All right. So I've just finished counting up uh, the listings that I've got for Courtney while I'm away. And I've actually only got 70 listings. I've put a few extra ones in throughout last week just to try and boost sales a little bit. Um, but what it has meant is that we're now 140 listings short of where I want to be come Sunday before I leave. So I'm going to have to go out and I do have a private pick actually this week on Thursday. So that's going to hopefully going to be quite a few listings. Um, but in the meantime, I'm probably going to have to find about 70 listings out in the thrift store this week. So it's actually going to be quite a bit of thrifting. I'll make probably a few videos this week about it as well. Um, but these numbers that I'm about to show you now are flea market finds from yesterday. They don't count towards the numbers that we need, but there were some pretty cool finds in there. So let's roll the footage and I'll show you what I was able to pick up in the flea. You got good, really good stuff here, man. Yes, my little man loves your videos. Oh, you tune in. He does, yeah. We 
Hey man, how are you? Good. I'm Matt. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Dylan. Dylan. I've got the camera rolling right now. You're in the video. There you go. You made it. With little yeah, jump in. There you go. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. Nice one. Jeez, you know what you're doing, though. This is unreal stuff. Yeah. I had a big car. <laughs> yeah. Cool bits and pieces. What do you like to sell? Just anything, really. Yeah? Um, I brought a lot of this stuff came from a, a liquid a licensing company that closed down. Yeah, gotcha. I brought the liquidation out on those. So yeah, it looks like it too, doesn't it? Yeah, so the Billy Bob stuff goes real well on eBay. Does it really? Yeah, but I get 20 bucks a teeth. So these go 20, 20 bucks each. Yeah. Wait, I've never even heard of these Billy Bobs. What are they? Yeah, they're, well, they're probably a bit they're both for alcohol for drinking, so not for little kids. Not for you boys. Yeah. Not for you boys. Yeah, for not us. yet. Not yet. Anyway. No, for us, but not for them. For us, but not for them. Billy Bobs. They'd be all the running shoes that you've got. Yeah. Yep. Those I ones. I got the Saudi one first because I have a time too much. Yeah. Oh, very good. How much on these ones here? Uh, seven. Seven bucks? Yep. Okay. This one and this one, Sam. Yeah. This one, you're going to have $5 for each. Five for those? Yep. Okay. Well, I will, I will do that. 17. Let's say 20 bucks then, hey? I'll give you 20. Yep. This was actually Dad's. He took it to an op shop. That's pretty cool. Hopefully they can sell it. Hey guys. Howdy. How you doing? Oh, top of the world yourself. It's a shame this one's missing a disc. No, no, I don't have anything. It's just got broken when we're moving around. Ah, oh, damn. So, season nine. Discs are in good condition? Uh, reasonably. Yep. Was it something I'd continuously watch? It is. No, no, it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't. Continuously watch. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, pretty good, hey? Uh, well, there, season eight. Uh, how much on the ones with all, like, I guess, complete? Uh, it was $10 each, but you can take the whole lot for 30 if you want. Let's do that, eh? Alright, sorted. Sounds good. Amazing. There we go. Thank you, sir. Thank I appreciate you. that. If you're super new to this channel, uh, I do a lot of DVD sales. Believe it or not, they sell very well on eBay, and I know that that Dragon Ball Z season set uh, is a very, very good seller. So, I've gone ahead and picked up four seasons there, and I think they'll all go for about 20 to 25 each. So we're about $100 in on DVD value, um, and I'm paying just $30 to get it all. So that was a really good grab. I was actually pretty surprised to see it. Like that. Okay. What are we looking so at? That's five. They're five each, aren't they? Uh -huh. Yep. And eight on the board game. No worries. So what's that? 10, 18, and then the hat was... Five is 23. 23. I'll give you 25, huh? Oh, you're a legend. That works for you. It works, works for me. Just looking at these uh, t-shirts, we've got $20 each, or three for 55. Ooh. Bro, that is... Crazy. That's nice. There's a couple of stains on it, but it's a single stitch. Single stitch, 1992 Toronto Blue Jays, World Series. Yeah, that is mint. What size? On a Salem XL? Show the tag. Salem Sportswear XL, made in the USA. Oh, nice. That's, that's a get for sure. Three, three Grab for that. Three for 55. That's cool too. I like this one. I don't know. Jerry Garcia. Is that single stitch? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Jerry Garcia. XL made, 93 made in USA. Who's I'm it's bad on that. Who's Jerry Garcia? I think he's a musician. Yeah, right. Like he's a really famous, he's like the musician's musician, I think. Winterland made in USA. Yeah, okay. Yeah, what else is there? You need one more for $55 or well, two for 40. Two for 40 is all right, too. I might do that. Pick up another one, though, for 15. What are you? Yeah. Minnesota. Mm. 
Wisconsin, that's sick. It's a bit dirty. That's a cool top though. This is the shit that I want to buy when Ooh, I'm over there. Look at that. When was it? That's a really old tag. NFL Reebok, yeah. Property of the Bengals. No. It's a small one. Double stitch. Yeah, you got to leave that one. It's... Actually, that's nice. It's really heavy. Yeah, it is. I don't want that one too. Like, that's just I like a... the design on it. I just don't know what it's from. It's really. vintage. Yeah. They're all vintage. It's not vintage enough. So Maddie's going to go ahead and buy three for 55, but this is exactly what I'm going to be doing when I'm over in the States. I'm leaving next Sunday and we're going to do a big two week thrift trip. I'm going to basically be looking for these sorts of vintage tees. So hit the subscribe button and don't miss those videos. So my plan for America, it's going to be pretty jam packed. I'm going to be in LA for three days at the start of the trip. So I'm flying uh, with Fiji Airways and I've got the Monday and the Tuesday before I go to North Carolina on the Wednesday. Um, so those, those three, two and a half days that I've got, uh, I'm going to be going to the Goodwill Bins in LA and I'm also going to be um, going to Melrose um, Avenue uh, as well. And I'm going to be sourcing all of those t-shirts, those vintage tees in those consignment stores. Uh, I'm really, really looking forward to getting back there. I did a video last year, um, but it was just one of the most enjoyable days and I had no anticipation of doing it last year. So knowing that I'm going to be doing it this year is really cool. I'm looking forward to it. Um, so that'll be LA really quick two days i'll make a couple of videos there and then i'm going to flipcon in north carolina catching up with harry tornado as well I've, I've, I've booked in a van i've got a camper van and i'm actually going to be doing five nights six days in that camper van um and i'm going to be going up to see kevin commonwealth picker in virginia and then i'm going to be going all the way down south to south carolina to catch up with josh and go to the flea market with him like we did last year um, so I'm looking forward to catching up with all of those guys. So many uh, YouTubers that are going to be at the, um, the Flipcon reseller event in North Carolina in Charlotte. Um, that's over a two, three day period. Uh, and then yeah, five or six days I'm, I'm in the van, uh, just cruising around, going to a bunch of different thrift stores in those locations. It's about a four hour drive up to Kevin. Uh, and then it's about a five hour drive, I think, down to Josh. So there's going to be a lot of thrift stores that I'm going to stop at along the way. Um, and then once all that's done, I'm gonna go back to LA for the flight home, but I've got about two or three days up my sleeve. And uh, I'm gonna be going to an LA Dodgers game on my birthday, which is the last day of the trip. Um, and then I'll wake up the next day and I've got a midnight flight. Um, so, you know, another free day in LA, I'll probably get down to the beach, go to Santa Monica and Venice and just see what's going on down there. So that'll be the two weeks. Um, there'll be a lot of stuff sourced. I'm gonna have about 60 kilos to play with in the sense of my luggage. Um, which I think will be enough. It was certainly enough last year. I don't think I need to overdo it. I just want to find and cherry pick the best of the best. Uh, and then I'll bring, bring that back with me. Um, so really looking forward to it, guys. That's the trip. Thought I'd update you guys ahead of time in this video. Courtney and I also did a bunch of thrifting, uh, found a bunch of cool stuff. So what I'm gonna do is actually just hold that off for another thrifting related video that I'm gonna bring out over the next few days before I go. Uh, I'm gonna leave you with this video right here though, which would be a great one for you guys to watch. Uh, a day in the life of a full-time eBay reseller. Hopefully you get some enjoyment out of that. Thanks for being here for this one. We'll see you soon.